I'm a painter. There was a time when that wasn't really considered fully legitimate as art. But painting over the centuries has been very adaptive, and I think there's no reason why it couldn't adapt to any situation, even being marginalized. There was something about having painting be knocked off its pedestal in the 80s that only increased my attraction to it, I think. I suppose it was a very fertile period of taking in things that weren't painting as source for thinking about painting, from critical theory, feminist theory, to film and video, and it really allowed me to cast a wider net culturally in terms of what I was truly interested in. The black light paintings came about because you know, I've always wanted to make high art with this low form and to try to make serious painting with these colors because they're often also associated with these very out of favor genres like psychedelia and hippie culture. The light physics of black light are completely different than regular chromatic color and metallic is also different again and being a painter you're sort of a detective who's trying to figure out what the painting wants to do. I've always been a big fan of film noir because one of the things that's very radical about it was how the figures were always embedded in their surroundings. They're always immersed in their environments and it's a more ambiguous state of what is human, what isn't. And what the directors were doing was really shredding up the frame with light and that is very close to the way that I paint. About how I finish a painting is always everyone's favorite question because no one has really ever answered it well, I think. But my process is yeah, I like to make something, then break it, and then put it back together and break it again. I don't think that the artist ever does really finish the painting. Because really it's important that the spectator, the viewer, the beholder, should feel like they finished the painting. The abstraction is still very much about uh, loss, in a sense. That painting lost its image, that painting lost the world in one sense, and hopefully gains it in another. So I think it's important to continue to contemplate it in that way.